What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be counting down 10 big Japanese RPGs that should come to the Nintendo Switch in 2023 or beyond. But before we get into that, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are someone new to get my videos first. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the games. Starting off first, we're going with a big fan favorite out there and that is Scarlet Nexus. This is a PlayStation, Xbox, PC game. Came out originally on June 24, 2021 from Bandai Namco. And I played through this game on the PlayStation 5 and I found it to be absolutely incredible. It does a lot of things good. And if you played a game like Astral Chain, this game is going to be right up your alley. Now, it might not be as good as that game, but the game is still very fun. And I feel that if you've played Scarlet Nexus, then of course Astral Chain would be a fun game to play too. But what I like the most about Scarlet Nexus is just the vibe, style, and gameplay. Like, it really has a lot of sauce and substance to it. It's got a little bit of jank, as I like to say in my live streams with the combat system. You can do some really cool things. You get a lot of dope upgrades in the game. So I'm really enjoying what Scarlet Nexus has developed into and I hope that the franchise does continue but I feel that a big boost to the franchise could be a switch port I think that a lot more people would buy the game if it did come out even it being late at this point now Bandai Namco has been known to release a lot of later ports on the Nintendo switch so you might see some more Bandai Namco games on this list but what do you guys think about Scarlet Nexus potentially coming over to the switch in 2023 let me know in the comment section below. Next up is Genshin Impact from MiHoYo. And this game originally launched all the way back on September 28th, 2020 on the PlayStation 4 and the PC. Later, it got a PlayStation 5 version. And it was also announced for the Nintendo Switch, but has been MIA. This is one of the premier action RPGs in the free to play realm and it would be a benefit if it did come over to Nintendo Switch at some point and fans are still waiting. Heck, you can go to the YouTube channel at this point and people are still putting new comments on the Nintendo Switch reveal trailer saying, hey, where's the Switch version at? Where's the Switch version at? So I'm not sure if it's due to some technical issues, if they're waiting for the next Switch, if there's just something that happened, if it's been canceled. I'm not sure at this point, but I do think that it should come over. Whether that's the Nintendo Switch or something beyond what the Nintendo Switch is, it should come over to a Nintendo platform, but we're just going to have to wait and see on it. Following up with that is Tales of Arise. This is from Bandai Namco. The game was on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and it originally launched on September 9th, 2021, and I purchased it and played it on the PlayStation 5, and I feel that it's a fantastic entry into the Tales of series franchise. I love the game. I think it's really Really good I feel that there are a few things here and there but nitpicks aside the game has a great story it's got fantastic combat excellent presentation excellent music great graphics I think that fans of the Tales of franchise would love to be able to play this anywhere that they want portably especially after Tales of Vesperia definitive edition did so good on the Nintendo Switch and we can kind of even go beyond the Tales of Arise game I think that more Tales of games like Tales of Berseria for example or even Tales of Symphonia could come over to Nintendo Switch in 2023 as Bandai Namco kind of resets their development teams that have been porting over games. So what do you guys think about Tales of Arise potentially coming over to the Switch next year? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up is a Square Enix Classic remastered to perfection, and that is Near Replicant. It originally released on April 24th, 2021, and it's a really big remaster make of the original Near Replicant from Japan, just with a bunch of new stuff and everything. This franchise has a weird and twisted path that you're definitely going to have to Google to see exactly what's happening. But this is one of Square Enix's weirdest games but it's also really good now the reason why i feel that near replicant could be coming over is because near automata is launching this october on the nintendo switch for 39.99 and apparently 
from what some little Square Enix birdies told me that I have out there, it's doing really well with physical pre-orders. People are going on that Square Enix store and buying it like crazy at that price and from what we've seen so far. So I feel that if that game is successful, which I think it will be a successful port, I feel that Near Replicant could be next on the Nintendo Switch in 2023, and I would absolutely love to see that. Next up is another Bandai Namco game, and that is Code Vein. This game released quite a number of years ago, back on September 27th, 2019 so we're going on four years if it comes out in 2023 next year but this is an anime souls style of game it's basically anime souls i like it quite a bit i just got kind of tired of it because it's the souls formula and i'm kind of tired of the souls formula to be honest i was tired of it even back then when i played it so i feel that code vein is a great style of game if you're going to have some souls games on the nintendo switch we don't have too many of those i think that code vein would be a great place to go with and maybe even breathe some new life into the franchise we haven't heard about any potential sequels or anything like that i'm not exactly sure how well the game sold it wasn't any type of blockbuster hit or anything i'm guessing they probably made their money back and then some were at least broke even there was some nice dlc and things that they did after the launch of the game so we'll see going forward maybe there's something new with it but i do feel that code vein could be very similar to like a dragon ball kakarot that came out and then later was ported over to the nintendo switch after quite some time so would you guys like to see anime souls game code vein come out on the nintendo switch let me know in the comment section below next up is a game that many felt should have already been on the nintendo switch at launch and that is soul hackers 2 from sega and atlas this game came out on august 25th 2022 and what else is there to say shin megami tensei 5 came out on the nintendo switch and promptly sold 1 million copies in about five months on the market persona 5 persona 4 persona 3 all of those games are coming over to Nintendo Switch and wait till you see the sales on those. Those are going to sell incredible on the platform. Shin Megami Tensei 3 came out on the Switch and did very well. So all of these Atlas and Sega RPGs are doing fantastic on the Nintendo Switch. I think that it's only a matter of time before Atlas and Sega say, okay, get the port studio ready. Let's get Soul Hackers 2 on the nintendo switch and based off of what we're seeing so far with the sales of this game from what we know it seems like it could use a little bit of a nintendo switch boost so i do feel that soul hackers 2 will come out on the nintendo switch in 2023 or beyond but we're just going to have to wait and see for an official confirmation next up is odin spear from the playstation 4 this is an old school ish modern old school atlas slash vanilla wear game it came out originally on january 14 2016 and it is one of the best 2d games that i have ever played in the modern era it is a fantastic side scrolling 2d action rpg platformer type of game i love what vanilla wear does their art is so unique and good and 13 sentinels recently released on the nintendo switch and from what i understand as well it's doing pretty well on the platform it's selling good so i do think that they could bring over another game which fans have been requesting it's been odin sphere and it's been dragon's crown these are the two games that fans have been really wanting on the nintendo switch so i think that after 13 sentinels we could see some more vanilla wear games come over to the platform moving on to the eighth game on the list here dark souls 2 and 3 now these games originally launched back on march 11 2014 for dark souls 2 and march 24 2016 for dark souls 3 this is from bandai namco and from software we all know about elden ring i don't think that game is coming over and i guess i shouldn't necessarily classify dark souls as a japanese rpg per se just like there's some leeway with some of these games but it's a big rpg from japan that people are excited about and people love the franchise elden ring obviously took things to another level but dark souls 2 and 3 are also really good and after dark souls remastered on the nintendo switch i think that fans 
would love to be able to play these Dark Souls games portably on the platform, maybe some HD Rumble mixed into there as well. So will Bandai Namco and will From Software get something done like they did with Dark Souls Remastered? I think it's definitely possible. It's been a number of years now since Dark Souls Remastered came out, but I think that the biggest issue more so than anything is the amount of studios available to make great ports from PlayStation and Xbox compared to how many fans want things and like when they want them there's so many games that are out dark souls 2 dark souls 3 more games but there's not enough talented port studios to bring over everything efficiently and for a good price so i think that's the reason why sometimes some games go mia or we just don't see them for quite some time after they've already been released but i do think that dark souls 2 and 3 especially with a rumor that we did get a number of years ago saying that dark souls 2 and 3 could be in development for the Nintendo Switch. I feel that that could happen in 2023 or beyond. Next up is an interesting game, and that is Final Fantasy Type O HD. This is from Square Enix, and it originally launched back on March 17th, 2015. Now, here's the reason why I think that Final Fantasy Type O HD could be launching next year on the Nintendo Switch. There are already a number of Final Fantasy games on the platform. You have seven, eight, 9, 10, 10, 2, and also 12, plus you have World of Final Fantasy, you have the other spin-offs, you got Chuckabo Racing, you have all this Final Fantasy stuff. Now, what we are missing are some of the modern end games, Final Fantasy 13, 13, 2, Lightning Returns, some of the games like that, Final Fantasy 15, although there's that pocket edition of it, so there's that, but we're missing some of the bigger modern end games, but there is one game originally which was released on the PSP and then later ported over to the Xbox and PlayStation that would work very well on the Nintendo Switch since it doesn't seem like the newer and Final Fantasy games are going to be coming out on the platform so Final Fantasy 7 Remake or Final Fantasy 16 Sony's locking up deals with those now we do know about Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core the remaster that is coming out on the Nintendo Switch and I feel that that's going to do really well so I think that maybe even Type O HD has a chance too, because I feel that Crisis Core is just going to do incredibly well across lots of platforms, but especially on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. So I think that Final Fantasy Type O HD would be a great addition as well, and we could see it randomly announced for the Nintendo Switch at some point in 2023 or beyond. And for the final game, Star Ocean The Divine Force from Square Enix and Tri-Ace. This game is coming out on October 27th, 2022. And I think fans were a little bit shocked that maybe Star Ocean The Divine Force isn't launching on the Nintendo Switch with the other platforms, especially given the landscape of the Japanese scene. And Star Ocean is definitely a very Japanese RPG and with the success of games like Xenoblade X and stuff like that you would just think that this game would make its way onto the platform at launch or at least they'd announced that the game is coming but we haven't heard anything just yet but I feel that Star Ocean is launching in a little bit of a crowded time period for lots of games out there and I don't exactly know how well it's going to do I feel that Star Ocean games have always been okay never been incredible outside of maybe Star Ocean First Departure never really been incredible especially with the modern end releases but have always been just good enough there's just enough fans it's just good enough it sells just enough to kind of keep the things going now Star Ocean the Divine Force looks like it could be the best modern or HD Star Ocean game since Star Ocean 4 right that's the last hope on the Xbox 360 and PS3 and there was that faithlessness and integrity and that is like the worst Star Ocean game I've ever played and I've played every single Star Ocean game so I think that Star Ocean the Divine Force only can go up from that game now we still have to wait and see how good the game ends up being but based off the trailers and what we've seen so far they've got some interesting and unique ideas and the open world looks very fascinating a bit to explore not necessarily the most in-depth open world that we've seen but it looks like it could be very fascinating i think that tri ace is a fantastic studio that does a lot with not a lot of people and budget i always kind of see them as like a budget monolith soft not quite as good but they're still really good they can have a small team size you can give them not tons of money and they can push out a big epic jrpg just lacking in some areas here and there but i feel that stars from divine force could make its way to nintendo switch in 2023 or beyond but what do you guys think about these 10 
games. Is there any other Japanese RPGs that you feel could come to Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Pro, or something else? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you for the next video. Peace.